Hello, welcome to Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. My name is Theodor. Hello. And we're currently discussing uh, Leica products, um, Leica binoculars to be more specific. And now we've come to the Trinovid HD series. Um, this is one of the binocular series from the renowned uh, optics manufacturing company Leica. And we'll start this debate off by a bit of history of this specific series here, Trinovid. Well, I would say that the Trinovid series is the backbone of Leica. Even though probably there are more uh, geovids, the laser range finder integrated binoculars sold by Leica than Trinovids, but still, historically speaking, the Trinovid is probably one of the most famous lines of, of binoculars. Uh, it was first introduced in the 1957, so this is really a long time ago, more than 60 years. Uh, it was even so famous that in uh, 1969, Apollo 11 mission, they used uh, the the Trinovid. Trinovid for a lunar <coughs> exploration mission. So this is this is really it's really cool fact that this was even used by NASA in their uh, space program at the time when they were conquering the moon. Uh, since 1957 until now, I think there were four generations or something like that. The Trinovid, the first generation was even not called Leica, but it was called uh, Leitz Binocular, Leitz Optics Trinovid. Later, when they changed the name from Leitz to uh, Leitz Camera to, to Leica, they, they keep the name Trinovid. So, this is the recent HD model. Uh, I think it was uh, first shown in 2016. So it's the current model, uh, it's made in Portugal and it has a couple of really nice features. It's, it's a full-size uh, entry-level binoculars on Leica, there are four different models, 8x32, 10x32, 8x42 and 10x42. Uh, if you compare them with the 2012 generation, uh, they got the addition HD at the end of their name. Uh, so the, the optical part was a little bit improved. Yeah, yeah, the, and, the previous and it, version. it was changed against the previous version where the the opter compensation is. Now it's on the uh, on the right uh, eyepiece. Uh, before it was on the same. It had they had the same system like on the Ultra Vid series. They had uh, two parts for the focusing knob. <clears throat> we go a little bit back to the the series itself. The name. Mm -hmm. uh, what, they use the name Trinovid. What for? So what does it stand for? When it came out in 1957, the first generation, uh, they said that this name stands for three novelties. And one was uh, the first fully integrated focusing system. So that meant really full waterproofness. Uh, second of all, it was the compact design because it was really small. And third of all, I think it was the optical performance, so the so-called Leica optics which still stands out and it's still a benchmark today because we all know that Leica really knows how to do best possible optical performance. Uh, Leica's binoculars, you already mentioned the focusing system. Yeah. The Leica binoculars are known that they can, you can pretty much use them at, I don't know, minus 20 degrees Celsius and the mm -hmm. focus still works. Uh, is this also the case with the Trinovid HD? Yeah, on their first when they first shown this uh, binoculars, I think it was still in 2015 or, or it was 2016. I know I was in Wetzlar and they still had the old building before they built the whole Leitz Park. And we were like dealers and distributors in, in a room and they showed us the new Trinovit. Uh, they told us what they changed and the, it, the pr price was even more attractive than before and so on. And then they brought I think five or six uh, pairs of these binoculars in a big bucket of ice, which were, I think, cooled down to minus 25 or something like that. For they said that they were they had them in this bucket for I don't know what time, and they said, okay, now let's try how everything works, and it really really performs equally well as when there are room temperatures. So they really care about the performance in 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 harsh conditions. And I, I would say that the build quality is probably the most outstanding, uh, I would say, unique features feature of, of Trinovids because they're really built well. This, this pair of binoculars, this is roughly around 1,000 euros, a little bit more. 
but the build quality is it's superb for this price. So uh, and they really do work at minus twenty five. They work well. They work well at plus fifty. They're really well made and they are made to last. Naturally, they they are cheaper than Noctivid and mm -hmm. Ultravid. These okay. are superb in terms of optics. And this is why they also lack some uh, like a famous coating such as Aquadura, am I correct? Yeah, they, they lack the, the coating for the external um, prevention of fogging. So uh, this is Aquadura basically? Aquadura, yeah. yeah. They lack this, uh, they probably also lack a couple of additional high-tech, uh, I'd say the most advanced coatings like the Noctivit has, but Noctivit costs three times as much. Course, yeah. But you still you get a really compact binoculars with a extremely high build quality. Uh, they're really made to last, and uh, optical performance is decent. For for this price point, it's competitive to any other brand, to any other model. If you look at binoculars at around one thousand euros, they perform equally well as any other. So they're they're really good buy. And this is I so I also think this is one of the main features that they are popular on the market. Now Trino with HD is also popular because it comes with an adventure strap by default. Yeah. And Ultravid and Noctavid do not come with this strap as default. You have to purchase it extra as yeah, far as I know. This one has it, it comes in the box. So um, I'm, I would say this was really, really brave move for Leica. And only 42 millimeter models come with this with this adventure strap, how it's called. So 32 millimeter models do not come. They come with a normal uh, neoprene uh, bag. Now, now, what is this comfort strap? Uh, some people like it, some people hate it. It's, it's, really, it's really hard to say. Uh, some think it's really positive, others think that uh, it should have been done differently. The binoculars, they don't, have, uh, they don't come with any other bag than this. And how is this used? First of all, you put it around your, I will stand so you can see, you put it around your neck and first of all it's really comfortable. Second of all, uh, you can always hide the binoculars inside of this adventure strap. Oh, so that you don't bump them against a rock or something yeah. when you're... You just put them inside like this and now they're protected with neoprene. Protected, you see, this is it's not a protection that would really fully cover them, but still on all the important parts they're protected. And with this zipper, you can even do it so that the protection is almost around them entirely. So when you wish to use them, you just flip like this and you take them out of this strap. So now they are not protected. Now you are able to use them normally. And it's really, really comfortable to, to, because the to carry them because there is a, this neoprene is comfortable around your neck. So the, the weight is nicely distributed and so on. And when you wish to, to use this neoprene comfort strap as a, as a case for the binoculars, you can do it like this. So you put them in like this. So it takes a little bit more time than with a, with a normal yeah. case. That is why some people probably dislike this, right? And you use the zipper like this, and then you have still one clip here. Now it's protected from all sides, oh, yeah. and it's like a bag. Some people like it, some people hate it. It's true, it's not really like watertight uh, bag. It's not, you can see that there are parts where are not really covered and so on. And I would say a lot of mixed feelings is associated with this comfort strap. I personally really like it, how it's really comfortable around your neck because the weight is really nicely distributed. And, and I also like how fast you're able to, to take the binoculars out and, and use them. Because let's be honest, with most of the bags, they're clumsy, they're big, they're, it's, this has its advantages. It is however true that it all depends at the end what kind of person you are, if you like this or not. Uh, this is something new and only Leica Trinovit HD 42mm models have it. Yeah, so, I think that it can also be purchased extra for about 60-70 yeah. euros and somewhere around that price, I think. For all other models. And this I think is great for, I don't know, hikers, mountaineers, um, not that much for hunters really. True, because 
it produced noises a little bit, but not much. I, I used uh, this uh, on a hunt when I was testing them a little bit, and it's it's not a big problem. Um, I would say, on the first look, it doesn't look as practical, but in reality, it is. It is two in one, so it's yeah. a carrying strap and bag in one, so everything in one, multifunctional and. For me, especially, I like when companies do something different, when they do something unique and when they're brave enough to try something new. And this is definitely something new. Uh, other companies also do different stuff, but this, this thing is definitely Leica only. So for me personally, this is a plus and this is a reason why I would consider these binoculars uh, to have an upper hand in the class of let's say 1000 euro spin offers together with the build quality together with the, with everything what Leica stands for the warranty period is probably a standard 10, 10 years. years 10 years uh, if and you ever run into a problem just contact us we will help you and normally you can go also directly to Leica the binoculars they yeah. come with a with a normal carrying strap uh, with some additional uh, strap i think for the for this bag comfort uh, strap, uh, lens covers, the objective lens covers, the eyepiece lens covers. Yeah, they're already yeah. on. That's already on. And with a with a warranty, warranty card, with an instruction manual for this uh, adventure strap, and normally a normal manual with all the data, all the specification and everything in a couple of different languages. So uh, I also like the packing of Leica because it uh, makes you feel special when you're opening. Yeah, it really has a nice silver and color and, and yeah. shiny edge. And everything inside, of course. Uh, it's a premium screen. product. You buy something like this, I would say you're not, you're not buying a binoculars like this every week or every year. You buy it once, you enjoy the whole package and you enjoy the quality which you're buying. And as we've mentioned previously many times, when you purchase Leica binoculars, you don't only purchase binoculars and the optics, you purchase a piece of history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the series has been around for 60 years, even more, and the, the company has been around for more than 100 years. So They are producing the binoculars since 1907, so, so yeah, 111 years <laughs> if we say from today. So, they're really one of the oldest companies in the world that produces uh, binoculars and they still produce really high quality binoculars. So you really buy them if you're looking for something premium and high quality. Thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe to your YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any additional questions, leave a comment or send us an email and we'll gladly reply, reply to it. Uh, thank you for watching once again and see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye.